This is the B rotor F3 board with the built-in OSD. That's the power distribution port. I recommend you get it. Okay, separate. You put them together. Comes with the wires. Now this is the OSD, the 1.5. I flashed into it. But I think there's a bug on it because it's number three and two is supposed to be an arrow. So what I have to do, you see as when I navigate through, it's supposed to be a little arrow, but the three is flashing. So what I have to do is reflash it with the 1.6 from mini OSD. I'm gonna flash it and you'll see at the top it'll say 1.6 and the number is gone. There it goes right there, 1.6. Now everything is much better now. See now where the number was, now you get the little arrows. So as I navigate through you'll see. I move my uh, aileron elevator to navigate around and to change the value you use the rudder stick you move the rudder left or right to change the numbers either high or low see I move the rudder and it changes the numbers and just leave it there and when you exit you exit on save exit or if you exit it's not going to save it so it's common sense you want to go to the next page you go down to page and move the rudder left or right and you can change your pages you know what and you can turn things on turn things off or change values your alarms and you could uh, assign a switch to shut it off and turn it on but it'll just turn on and turn off the HUD part the uh, but not the uh, voltage on the bottom you'll see The voltage and the time will always be on the bottom. That you cannot turn on and off. Just your voltage and your time. And where it says disarm, that stays there. Put the switch, you can shut it off or turn it on. And on the top left. Let's tell you stabilizer, acro, or your modes, your three modes. The battery's flashing because I haven't set the battery voltage yet. Because you have to adjust the battery voltage. That's it. Arm, disarm, low voltage. Every time you exit, it'll show the status while it's left, how much amperage, total time you used. That's it.